Yes, and now let's uh, move uh, to the Liverpool legend uh, that uh, was in the country. Of course, uh, Vladimir Smyser. Of course, Liverpool fans remember him scoring in uh, that uh, match against AC Milan in 2005 in Istanbul when they won uh, the Champions League. Uh, he was in the country yesterday, paid a visit to Diamond FC in the country after they got that partnership with Standard uh, Chattered. And of course, he says that Kenya has a lot to offer in terms of football and he hopes that uh, the uh, suspension that has been uh, slapped on Kenya may soon be lifted so that uh, football can resume uh, normally. I had a conversation with him. This is what he had to say. Uh, thank you. Uh, so far, I had a great welcome. I, I arrived on Thursday evening, you know, busy day uh, yesterday. And today again, I had a football clinic with the kids, for example, today. And I uh, had a few interviews with media. So, yeah, busy. But uh, I like it so far. It's nice, warm, you know, great weather. Yes. And uh, the people are really nice on me. So I can't complain. You are football legend and uh, people are seeing you here for athletics. If you can, you know, explain uh, why, why you are here. Well, I'm here because uh, I was invited by Standard Chartered to uh, uh, be uh, president at the Nairobi Marathon uh, in this sporting largest event here in Nairobi. So it's going to be, I think, a great uh, event and, uh, and uh, I, I can't run <laughs> a marathon because I had my five for knee operation, but at least I'll be around in the, in the city and uh, looking forward to it. What are your expect expectations tomorrow? Well, I think it's going to be more than like 80,000 runners and uh, so it's going to be very, very busy and uh, as I said, it's a, it's a larger event in Kenya, so very busy. I, think, I hope even a lot of uh, fans will go and support uh, the runners, uh, you know, and they will make a great atmosphere. Yes, and now let's uh, move away from athletics. Let's talk about uh, football. Yes, uh, you know, everybody uh, knows about uh, Vlad, uh, this man that scored uh, in uh, the Champions League final when you're playing uh, for Liverpool. Which is your most uh, memorable goal for the Reds? Well, most memorable must be this, this goal from the final, you know, because uh, it's been a historic final, uh, epic final, a miracle of Istanbul, and uh, I played part in this final and uh, achieved to score the second goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of this goal, we came back into the game, really back into the game. And uh, at the end, uh, we won the cup after a penalty shootout. So it was a great night for Liverpool. It was a great night for me. It was my last game for Liverpool. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was... Uh, I was just saying goodbye in style, I think, and uh, and, uh, and that night we were all Liverpool fans very happy to bring in the Champions League back to Liverpool. Uh, in the morning, you had a, you know a clinic with uh, some youngsters from uh, Diamond Academy. What did you see? You know the talent amongst them. Yeah, they were all groups of the talented uh, young uh, footballers. You know, from under eight to under seventeen. So. A lot of kids. Uh, I play with them, uh, with the older, it, uh, with the under-17 team. It was quite tough. They, they were quite fast, and uh, they, 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 they actually play very really good football. So in the, in the conditions, they were not easy conditions. It was the pitch uh, like mud, you know. So it was quite tough. But uh, you can see some really enthusiasm, enthusiasm between the between the players, and uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I was happy be on the pitch and playing football with them. Uh, you know, Kenya is normally known uh, for athletics. Uh, uh, anything you know about uh, football in, from Kenya? Uh, I know that you've got at the moment a few problems that you can't play the international uh, against FIFA or the stuff like this. I, I was asking yesterday yes. about, about your league. Yeah. You know, so I know you've got a league, uh, few, uh, a lot of teams. But So I wish that uh, you, you're going to solve this problem with, uh, with, with FIFA and you can play internationally. Mm -hmm. And maybe one day we can play uh, Kenya against Czech Republic probably uh, at the World Cup because uh, we are not qualified for the World Cup in Qatar. You are not qualified for the World Cup. So hopefully we will have a better day so, uh, in the future. Yes. Now that you've spoken about uh, the World Cup, uh, uh, do you feel like probably Africa, uh, a country from Africa, you know, can win the World Cup from your thoughts? Well, it's going to be tough uh, because, of course, there is a concurrence or, or rivalry between the, of course, big uh, nations, uh, football nations like, uh, of course, uh, 
Brazil, Argentina, Germany, you know, France is uh, strong. But uh, I think because the World Cup is playing in Qatar in uh, hot conditions, that maybe it's it's suit for uh, for the African teams. And uh, you know, I, I'm definitely sure that uh, Senegal with Mane in 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 as a leader, they be very strong uh, team. Cameroon is always doing well at the World Cup, and the others as well. It's always surprise at the World Cup, so you never know. But to say African team will win the World Cup, it's it's tough. It's tough to say that, you know. Uh, I wish them do well, and we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you've played with some uh, African players uh, uh, before. Who, who do you feel that probably was your toughest African opponent? Wow, toughest uh, African African opponent. Yes. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> and also the best African player that you've played alongside. Well, I I played along El Hadji Juf. Mm -hmm. At the time, he was really good, you know. So he was very, very skillful and, uh, uh, yeah, technical. And uh, he was very, very dangerous player. Mm -hmm. And uh, even we signed from Lons to Liverpool. So I, I played, I think, two years with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, the opponents, uh, the opponents, which one African player was so hard? To, well, I can remember from the Arsenal squad or, Liv or Man United squad. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, he's been not from Africa, but a tough opponent was Marcel Desailly. Mm -hmm. You know, but he's of course, of course he's been from France, you know, but but he's been very, 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 very tough opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, the Premier League is very, very, you know, uh, popular in Kenya. Uh, aside from uh, you, which other player from Czech do you feel like, uh, you know, was the most popular in the Premier League? I think Patrick Berger. Patrick Berger was very popular, mm -hmm. and of course Peter Czech. Peter Czech, uh, goalkeeper of Chelsea. Yes. I think uh, he's done an unbelievable job for, for Chelsea. He's been re like star player for them for more than 10 years. And uh, uh, so he's been um, at the time probably best goalkeeper in the world. Yes. So I think Peter Czech uh, is most, uh, I think, famous uh, Czech players uh, from the Premier League. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's talk about uh, the Reds. What are your thoughts of uh, Liverpool at the moment? Well, uh, you know, we were under the no, we were under the pressure, but everyone expected us to do well as the last season, and uh, we had a little bit slow start. We we drew some games we, we shouldn't, but as the football, you never know. You know, we had a lot of injuries, and uh, and uh, pressure is on the team, that's for sure. But of course, in the league, we need to starting to take the points because the the, the first team, uh, Arsenal, they ahead of already like 10 or 12 points ahead of us or we need to try to a little bit you know close them down and uh, but we did well in the champions league i think uh, you know we are qualified for the last 16 and uh, i think we are always pretty good chance uh, in the cup competition we are doing well usually in the cup competitions so i still think it's still it's going to be interesting when it's going to do, do the break uh, with the, for the World Cup, you know. It's not usual, <laughs> it's the first time at a long, long time when it's going to be a Premier League stop in the mid-season mid and they, there's going to be break. So I just hope uh, we will do well till the, till the break, until the break. And after the break we will have some players back after injuries and we will be strong again. Uh, we are a few days uh, to the World Cup. Who's your money on to win this year's World Cup? <laughs> Again, it's very tough question. So, I like to see uh, Messi with Argentina win the World Cup. It's, I don't want to say it's, I, I'm going to put money on it, but uh, there's uh, some good teams, of course, with France and Germany. Uh, England, uh, they, 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 they want to show uh, a good performances at the World Cup, you know, they can't say they, they usually we are saying that the players from the Premier League are tired at the end of the season because of so many games from in the Premier League. Yes. So this time no excuses, uh, this time everyone has the same start, starting lineup. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting, Brazil with Neymar, you know, Brazil is always a good team. Yes. And as we, we talked before, we talk before, maybe some African teams can surprise. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very open. I can see only like real favorite this, yeah. on this competition this, uh, in Qatar. Mm -hmm. And the Premier League? Premier League? Yeah, uh, if I have to put in money now, uh, I'm probably I need to go, uh, I go for Manchester City. So far, they're, they're good. They go more experienced player. Mm -hmm. But of course, I just hope uh, Liverpool we will be back soon on the top uh, and we'll be trying to, to catch the first place in the, in the Premier League. It's still not over, it's still not over. I know we are back a lot of back 
behind points, uh, I don't know, 10, 12 points behind mm -hmm. the first. But you never know. In football, you never know, especially in Premier League. Mm -hmm. You're not giving a chance to Arsenal? Uh, they, they have brilliant star, mm -hmm. uh, but I think they don't have experience to win it. But who knows? Who knows? Can, maybe I'm, I'm wrong and uh, Arsenal is going to do the all the way and they can win. But I, if I have to choose between Arsenal at the moment or Manchester City, I go for Man City. Thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at uh, the marathon. Thank yes, thank, thank you very much.